What does it mean to be coachable? Hey, if you're not coachable, you're never gonna meet the right people in your life that'll help you succeed. My name is Jason Hewlett. I've been a professional speaker and entertainer around the world for over 20 years. I'm excited to share with you some of the reasons as to why you want to be coachable, as well as I'm gonna share with you how you can make your Yoda appear. <music> So being coachable is essential to success in your life. The reason that a lot of people don't ever reach their potential is because they're uncoachable. They figure, oh, I'm, I don't need to listen to anybody. I've got this. I can figure it out by watching YouTube. But the truth is, you're being coachable just watching this. So I admire that. There are other ways that we can figure out coaching situation in our life to make it so that we can be better. But I admire that you're watching this right now. And so, at least we need to be humble enough to be coachable. Let's dive in. I wanna tell you about a band, a group of guys that came to me years ago and they said, hey, we want you to help us get some gigs. They knew that because of my career as a performer, a speaker, an entertainer that I could help them. And I've actually made other videos talking about how you can do that. So you maybe wanna to subscribe to those too. But here's what I wanna tell you about this band. They're very talented. They're very good looking dudes long hair, wear the right clothes, play their instruments awesome, have really good energy. I gave them some coaching. Maybe that was the problem. I gave it to them. Maybe I should have charged, <laughs> but I gave them some coaching, some suggestions. Here's what you could do with your website. This is what you could do with your music. This is how you can get booked. This is what would help you in your career. They listened to none of it. And they're still fighting and struggling to get one gig. I'm not saying that they had to listen to everything I said, but when we're not coachable, we will not succeed. And at this point, if they came back to me, I would have a hard time believing they would take my advice. And so, if you want your coach to appear, you need to be coachable. So first of all, I want you to think about somebody who's absolutely uncoachable. Somebody who's frustrating to you. Maybe you work with that person. Don't point at them, but I just want you to think, who is uncoachable to me? There might be some people that have just popped up in your mind. These are people that don't listen to what you advise. These are people that you maybe have suggested they could do something and they don't do it. I've even had people pay me to coach them and they didn't do one thing I said. I find that fascinating that they would pay me to coach them and not even be coachable. That's frustrating for sure. I guess that would be the great question is, how coachable are you when it comes to thinking about the people that aren't coachable? I hope that you're more coachable than them. Now I want you to think about someone who's absolutely coachable. They're open to ideas. They want to discuss things. They want to dissect it. They want to tear it apart. They want to put it back together. They're excited. They're energetic. They listen to you and they even challenge you. You might give them a suggestion. They go, well, I don't know about that. And you go, okay, well, let's talk it through. I mean, I'm constantly taking coaching from people in the right places, the right things, because they know better than me. And so I'm thinking about somebody who is so coachable. I've actually shared about this in another video. His name is Clint Pulver. If you haven't heard of Clint Pulver, you have to go look him up. He's one of the world's greatest motivational speakers. Here's a guy who actually came to me six or seven years ago before his career began as a speaker. He was a great salesman for a pharmaceutical company. And he said to me, hey, I want to be a public speaker. And I was like, right on, man. And he goes, hey, are you, are you doing any workshops or can you teach me anything? I said, yeah, I have a workshop. Come on over to it. So he signed up for it. He paid the money. He invested in himself and he came and he listened. And he listened and he took notes. And he then does it better than me now. <laughs> what I love about a good coachable person is that he takes what I'm talking about as a coach and he makes it better because he puts his signature moves all over it. Clint Pulver is the most coachable person I've ever met in my entire life. And that's why he succeeds. How coachable are you? Did you know that mentors, coaches, these types of people will appear in your life when you're coachable? That's what's so exciting about it. And when I was a young man, a basketball player, I wanted to become an NBA basketball player, a professional. I went to a camp. The coach there, his name was Coach. Tony Ingle. I've talked about Coach Ingle in some other videos as well. 
He's one of the most influential people in my life. But I remember when he met me, he saw me and he, he said, Hey, what's your goal? What are you going to become? I said, I'm going to be a basketball player. And he goes, all right, here we go. Yeah. And he knew that I didn't have the physical skills to be a professional basketball player. But he said, I like your style. And so he became a mentor and a coach to me. He took me under his wing because I was enthusiastic. I had energy. I was entertaining and it made him laugh. I'm so grateful for Coach Ingle because he eventually offered me a full ride scholarship to that college where he was coaching. And guess what? I share this in my book, The Promise to the One. It's an epic story. When I say to people, I got a full ride scholarship for basketball to a major university, they go, you were that good? No, I wasn't. Here was the trick. Coach Ingle gave me a full ride scholarship offer because I was funny. He wanted me on the basketball team that much. He told me you'll probably never play, but we want you as the manager. <laughs> we want you to be around our team because you're the friendliest, funniest guy I've ever seen. Can you imagine getting a full ride scholarship to a major university because you're funny on the basketball team? That was a stretch, but I'll tell you what, Coach Ingle changed my perspective about the power of being coachable. And he's since become a legend in my life. Somebody I share and talk about any chance I get because he was somebody that saw something in me I didn't see in myself. And so, Coach Ingle passed away during COVID. My best friend. Yeah, he's my dad's age. But he changed everything about the way that I live life because he's a great coach. And he said I was coachable too. I've shared about Tony Ingle. Maybe you've never heard of him before. What I want you to do now, if you will, in the comments, would you please engage there and type in who has been a coach for you? Who has been a teacher or a mentor? Someone who's seen something in you that you didn't see in yourself. You see, Coach Ingle helped me clarify what I had yet to identify. He helped me live what I call the promise. Type in the comments, if you will, who is a coach, teacher, trainer, mentor, friend, peer, someone who sees something great in you. Honor them here if you will. I would love to read what you write. Number four is to be open, eager, and ready to learn. That's one of the best things that we can possibly do in terms of discovering the best about ourselves. I've talked in other videos about the power of hiring a coach. Sometimes the coach will just appear and that's really exciting because if you're coachable, they'll be there. But sometimes you'll hire the coaches that are the most important. And so I've talked about that in other videos. I'd love for you to subscribe and go check those out. But here's what I want you to think for a minute about yourself. Are you open to exploring yourself? To finding out what you could do better? How life could be greater? I'll tell you about a coach I hired this very year that was so fascinating. I hired a coach called a hero's journey coach. Have you ever heard of that before? I had never heard of it. His name is Paul. Paul and I have never met in person. It was a Zoom call that we would do. And Paul said to me the first call, hey, if you're coachable, this is gonna be life transforming. And I was like, really, we'll see. And it was, he transformed everything for me. He told me, if you'll please write down your dreams, we're gonna tap into your subconscious. And I was like, I have never done anything like this, but I was totally game. Let's do it. Started writing down my dreams. I remember the first night after waking up and realizing I had a dream I could remember. I didn't remember the last time that happened. I wrote down the dream and then the next night I had another dream. The subconscious was opening to me. The hero's journey had begun. Paul the coach, like a freak of awesome, was opening my mind. How open are you to these types of things? It will help you improve, but you have to be coachable. And finally, I talked about this at the very beginning. Who is your Yoda? Because if you're coachable, your Yoda will appear. I've already talked about Coach Ingle, and yes, he was one of the great influences and coaches of my life. But then there was my Yoda, and his name is Chris Paulus. Chris Paulus, I've talked about him extensively. He is my Yoda. He showed up in my life as a 70 year old, when I was 21 we met. He saw in me what I could not see. He was the ultimate coach. He didn't charge me a penny. He just sat with me on his couch at his house. I was a perfect stranger and he said to me, what can you do? And I said, I can sing, I can dance, I can speak, I can tell stories. I shared it with him and he said, you have a gift. I don't have that gift. He said, you have more talent 
in your pinky than I have in my entire body. I'm going to share you with the world. He became my Yoda. If you're familiar with Star Wars, you know what that means. I was Luke Skywalker. This was Dagobah. Chris became my Yoda. He changed everything for me. I wouldn't be here right now talking to you because I would still be trying to figure out my philosophy, my mission, my life, had I not met Chris Paulus. Had I not been so coachable that when he told me what I needed to do, I went out and did it. He said, I need you to go create 15 minutes that will be great that we can sell. And so I went in and did it. He said, I want you to talk to people and tell everyone about what you can do. And I want you to create opportunities for yourself as a performer. And I went out and did it. Everything he coached me to do, I went and did. He was my Yoda. I hope that you've shared in the comments who you're mentor, your Yoda, your great coach is or was. Chris Paulus passed away on Christmas Day a few years ago. The saddest day I can remember, but a glorious day because he left in me something that only he could leave in order to exponentially influence so many people around the world through my voice. That's what happens when we're coachable. Yoda will appear. Mine was Chris Paulus and I honor him. I hope that this has been an inspiring video to you. I hope that you also might like it or subscribe. I would love to share more with you about how you can become the best version of yourself, whether you're a speaker, a performer, an entertainer, whatever profession that you're in. But to be coachable is one of the most powerful assets you can have in your life. Thanks for letting me share these with you. I'm Jason Hewlett. Have a great day.